Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Creatively Sandra. If you are new here, I'm Sandra, and on this channel we do all things Disney. Today is another pin haul. I am still catching up on a lot of pin mail from when I wasn't feeling well, and so let's dive right in. We've got six or seven envelopes here to get to. Um, most just have one or two pins, so hopefully we'll go quickly. This first one is from Pete and Allie over at Two Tiny Wings. They did a live sale. They do one usually each month um, on Instagram. So there is their Instagram. They have YouTube, uh, Two Tiny Wings. They also do Pixie Dust Apothecary, which is a candle making company that they have and is amazing. Um, I have many of their candles and they smell awesome and they do all the scents themselves. Okay, so I picked up two pins from their sale and these are from a couple of blind box sets that I would love to have. And so these are the start of both. Well, in these sets, one of them, I don't necessarily want all of them, but this is the first one. So this is the Queen of Hearts from the Keyhole set, mystery box set. And um, this is my first one of that. So they had this on their live sale. I took the opportunity to pick that up. So she's cool. And then the other one, um, wasn't sure how I feel about this set, so but I like the colors of this one, so I thought it was a good one to start off with. It is the shoes, the sneakers. They're like basketball shoes. <laughs> and this one is themed Snow White. So this is another, um, I don't think it's Lounge Fly. I think this is just a Disney set, Fox Lunch set. It's got that recycle emblem on the back, which I think that's what that one means. And so it's pretty comical and it's pretty big. So whoever's wearing those shoes, it's not the delicate little princesses, but those are pretty fun. So I don't know if I'll get any more of those, but I thought they were adorable. Um, very different. Like I said, I wasn't sure how I felt about them. All right, let's see this next one. I ordered this off of eBay and I'm pretty sure it's a fake <laughs> now that I, uh, I saw some people talking about these after I purchased it and I knew it was risky because it was very inexpensive and I just took a chance. But um, then after somebody else asked about it on one of the Facebook's groups and yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fake. Look at, well, let me just show you the pin first. This is the pin. This is a frame series. I still love it. It's a little kooky. Um, Pascal's eyes look a little kooky. I think there's something about her eyes that you can tell that it's fake. Um, maybe, I don't know. So it's very old looking. It does have the um, like Sorcerer Mickey hats on the back. Let me see a little closer. And Somebody said something about it looking really antique and old. It may be good, um, but I see like kind of some breaks in the pattern or it almost just looks like it's it's super old and worn out. But it was a limited edition of 300 if it was real. But like see that mark there? I don't know if you can see it. And there, they're kind of like, it looks like it's messed up on the back. So I have no idea, honestly, and I'll go try and compare this to the others, um, real ones that are online and see. But I thought it was a very cool pin. I know they have more of these. I think they even had a Mother Gothel that I almost got, but I paid like next to nothing. I think I paid maybe more in shipping than the actual pin itself. Um, so I'm still kind of happy to have it. I mean, it's just something that I can't trade or, but it still looks good. I like the stained glass. I like the idea of it. So if you know for sure that that's a fake, comment down below and let me know. I'd love to hear. Okay, this one is from Chris Yeats again, and I kind of unwrapped this one because I was a little worried it was the same as another one. I did just get um, a hot air balloon from the Wreck-It Ralph set that had King Candy in it. And that came in one of my recent box swaps, I believe from Magically Rebecca Me. And I picked up this one on an auction that Chris did. And so this is um, Sergeant Calhoun and Fix-It Felix. And they are in a hot air balloon. 
I'm trying to see what's on the front of the balloon. It's hard to tell. Oh, it looks like a metal. Um, almost looks like an hourglass or something with it. I can't really tell. But this is also a limited edition in Disney Soda Shop pin. And that is very cool. I'm happy to add it to... I guess I need to stop calling my Vanilla Bee collection... A, um, I need to start calling it a Wreck-It Ralph collection. Let me put this on the card, see if that shows a little better. They're still a little fuzzy, but it looks good. I don't know if that was faked. It's a little weird, like, this is a reputable seller, so I wouldn't think so, and it has the backer card, but the balloon is a little um, indented. Hmm. Let's look at the back of this one. And the back looks really good. Yeah, limited edition of 400 on this one. Try and show you the back a little bit there. Sorry for the glare. But that one looks good. So we're going to call it real. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one is. Like I said, that came from a reputable seller. Um, Chris is on Disney pin trading and he does auctions all the time. I... Um, I've told you about those before and I've picked them up. A lot of times I lose out on the auction because they end pretty late at night, my time, and so I'll bid and then I'll forget about it and so it goes. All right, this is one I picked up on Macari a long time ago, but I never showed and it is one of the Disney arcade pins. And these are limited edition, it was a jumbo pin. And I was excited to have this one from the Inside Out collection. So you can see the um, orbs there, the memory balls, core memories. And they're in each of the characters. Uh, disgust, anger, joy, sadness, and fear. And I, this was a fun series. You have Bing Bong on the side there. Let's see, what else is on here? The um, rainbow unicorn is on the front there. And then just the little... Um, so this was this was a fun one. Was this Disney pins or lounge fly? Disney pins. And so this was, let's see, it's a limited edition. I'm not sure of how much, but I think these might have been like a, I don't know, 500 limited edition. I guess I could open it and see. I want to say I have one other of this. Maybe not. It is, oh, it's 1500, limited edition of 1500. It's a two pin backer. It's a really good size pin. Let's put it on the board with the others this way. And so then you can see like so far in comparison, the size of that pin. So very nice, very nice. Happy to have that one. Okay, next we have, so from Fry Guy pins. Now Fry Guy is another one that does um, sales that are kind of late for me. <laughs> so he does, I think, Sunday nights and Monday nights, but I don't think it starts till 10 o'clock my time. He's on West Coast and I'm East Coast. So this one was from the Disney 100 collection. And one of the very few that I got from this collection, I don't know that I got any others actually. And it is Officer Clawhauser from Zootopia. And I got a nice price on this one. So went ahead and ordered it. I don't think I was actually on his live sale. It may have been like a board sale um, on Instagram. So Fry Guy pins on Instagram. And there is Clawhauser. That is beautiful. And these are huge. These are huge and they are heavy. So this is limited edition of, let's see, Walt Disney Imagineering exclusive limited edition of 300. This is beautiful. Look at that silver. It's so shiny and pretty. Not that I'm going to show the back, but I love the um, that kind of ombre, rainbow, shimmer effect behind it and love him. I would love to also get um, Judy Hopps. That would be a great addition. I know the way these were sold, they were sold in these weird pairings, like they were sold in sets of four. So Judy and Clawhauser came in a set with, let's say, characters from totally different movies. So I know some people had... A hard time justifying buying the set of four for the two characters they wanted so it was nice to be able to buy these as singles after the fact all right i did a trade i believe yes this is with amanda so amanda um 
I saw on Facebook and she was looking for one of the, it was an older um, mystery set, uh, um, stained glass Pixar set and she was looking for Sully. I had him. So actually in this case, I reached out to her uh, to do a trade and we worked out some things so she could have my Sully and I just dropped something. It was a little sticker she sent, Pocahontas stickers on the floor. So thank you for that. Um, she says, Sandra, thank you for the trade. I hope these pins made it safely. Have a magical day, Amanda. And she sent me a little, um, I guess that's zero, right? Zero um, from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> so as my friend Shay knows, I'm not a fan of NBC, but it's starting to grow on me a little bit. Don't tell her, don't. She probably didn't hear me say that at all, right? <laughs> I'm generally not a big Halloween spooky fan, but I swear to you, seeing everybody open their stuff, it really, it gets you. And um, so I've been watching people open and collect some fun items. And so that has me, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like all parts of it. I'm still not an Oogie Boogie fan. I don't think that will happen. But uh, some of the other characters are cute and it's growing on me a little bit. So here are the pins I traded. I traded a raincoat Dalmatian from, um, I believe that was a mystery set with different pets, Disney dogs and cats. And it was the second time this has been a series. Um, they did an original one. I might have Marie from that set. And then also a Pocahontas pin. So this was another mystery set. Let me put those on the board so you can see them. So these were the two trades from Amanda. Amanda, thank you for that. So it's fun meeting you and trading. And then the last one I have for today is from Jennifer Hagelman and she does discount Disney pins on um, Facebook. So she does live sales on Facebook. Sometimes she has board shopping. This one came from board shopping. So here's her card, um, Jenny. And let me turn this around and there is a QR code for Facebook. So if you want to stop and scan that, um, I think she does almost weekly sales or every other week. And she had a couple, this was a board sale from a while ago. I just hadn't gotten to opening this. It's been sitting in my um, bag of tricks there. She sent a guide map from Disneyland, which is always fun because I don't get out to the West Coast. So it's kind of cool to see that. She also included some stickers. So look at those beautiful princess stickers. And then the pins that I got from her are more PTD pins. So the um, PTD, Pin Trader Delight, that is from the soda shop or ice cream shop uh, in California where they sell these. And I think the way it works is you go in and you order a Sunday and you can get a pin as well. So this one is Jubilina Bing Bing from uh, Wreck-It Ralph also. And then the, oh, I forgot her name. Wow, I don't won't be able to tell you this one's name, but she is another one of the, um, the racers from, the Sweet Rush racers from um, Wreck-It Ralph. And she's got a little soda and it's something with mint in the name. I know that, that's, she's green but I cannot remember the specific name of this racer. I totally forgot what was in this package or I would have tried to check that, but that is the last of, and I'm trying to get more of these PP, P, PTD pins, <laughs> Pin Trader Delight in the Wreck-It Ralph collection. So um, maybe I've collected some others, maybe from Zootopia as well, uh, but these are super cute and going into my Vanilla B slash Wreck-It Ralph collection. So that's it for today. What do you guys think? Is, do you have a favorite? These are some cool pins. So definitely great ones to add to my collection. Glad I opened these. Um, one or two maybe traders. So I wanted to get to these so that I can um, figure that out and know which ones are going in my traders to get ready for my next trade event. And that'll be an online event. I can't wait till that package comes in. So I did a pin and pop online trading event that I prepared for. And that was a blast a couple weeks ago. And it takes a while for that to process. 
and you send your pins into one place but you guys go ahead and subscribe down below so you don't miss that when it comes um, to see what I got because I think I traded like 27 pins during that so we'll be opening a big package of pins when that comes in and um, the next event is coming up like the first weekend of November I think so I'm looking forward to participating in that one too so thank you guys for watching Go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know which was your favorite of today's pins. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.